girl, real talk. This whole it's a new year, time to reinvent myself trash is not the vibe for 2024. You can find someone who loves you for you, as you are. You don't need to read a stack of self-help books, only eat sad salads, or like start meditating at 5 a.m. to be ready for dating. So yeah, my advice is to download Bumble and find someone who embraces you the way you are right now. Let me know how it goes. This is Optimal Relationships Daily, episode 2034, Nine Things All Healthy Couples Do, part two, by Angel Chernoff of markandangel.com. Hello, everybody. Happy Monday, and welcome to a new week here on ORD with me, your host and narrator, Greg Audino. New week, but same post as yesterday. I'll be picking up where I left off and narrating this article from Angel Chernoff, so do listen to yesterday's episode first if you haven't yet. But if you're all caught up, then let's jump right back in and continue optimizing your life. Nine Things All Healthy Couples Do, Part 2 by Angel Chernoff of markandangel.com. Number five, they don't let outsiders call the shots in their relationship. Connected, fulfilled, and harmonious couples base their lifestyle, their decisions, and their goals on what they mutually want as a couple, not what they think looks good to others. They do their best not to conform to the outside pressures of living a certain way, making a certain amount of money, owning certain things, etc. The life they create together is for their enjoyment and happiness. They work hard to let their shared inner compass as a couple, not the pressures of outside forces or opinions, lead their shared journey. The bottom line is that not everyone will agree with how you and your partner run your relationship, but that is perfectly okay, because it will be just right for the two of you. Number six, they make being happy a priority over being right. What would happen? If in your next moment of frustration with your partner, you focused on being happy together instead of being right as an individual, blaming each other only delays discovering the solution that will move your relationship forward. Focusing on who's more right is a time waster, and healthy couples know it. Instead of blaming each other for having a difference of opinion, they quickly turn to brainstorming about how they can come to a compromise together. Keep in mind, that the biggest roadblocks to abundant health and happiness in our relationships are often not outside sources, but attachment to our own egos. It's time to let go and grow together as one. Number seven, they don't play games. They're smart enough to know no one wins. Reading between the lines and guessing games don't appeal to healthy couples. They don't create drama where there is none, and they don't assign motives that aren't there. They take their partner at their word, and they assume he or she is always coming from a good place. If there is confusion, they don't draw their own conclusions. They ask questions to clarify. Mature and loving couples know that there are enough real problems in the world without creating bogus ones. Communication is king. Number eight, they behave as if their partner is always beside them. Secrets and lies will slowly drain a relationship of trust and love. If you wouldn't want your partner to know what you're doing, Should you really be doing it? The next time you're about to make a decision, ask yourself if you would make the same choice if your partner were present. If not, you shouldn't be doing it. Healthy couples who have been together for years know that it's better to have a difficult conversation about negative spending, eating, or other personal habits than it is to lie or try to cover things up. A strong relationship can work through problems, but only if both parties know about them. And number nine, They are patient, respectful, and forgiving of each other's humanness. This one comes right out of the relationships chapter of Mark and Angel's book, 1,000 Little Things Happy Successful People Do Differently. Quote, Healthy couples understand that apologies are important and that they must be backed by sincere patience and forgiveness, because no matter how honest and kind you try to be, you will occasionally step on your partner's toes. And this is precisely why patience and forgiveness are so vital to relationships. Patience is simply the ability to let your light shine on the one you love, even after your fuse has blown. And forgiveness is knowing deep down that they didn't mean to blow your fuse in the first place. Truth be told, even the healthiest couples on earth are still just two imperfect humans. 
At times, the confident lose confidence. The patient misplace their patience. The generous act selfish. And the knowledgeable second-guess what they know. It happens to the best of us. We make mistakes, we lose our tempers, and we get caught off guard. We stumble, we slip, and we spin out of control sometimes. But that's the worst of it. We all have our moments. Most of the time, we're remarkable. So stand beside the one you love through their trying times of imperfection. If you aren't willing to, you really don't deserve to be around for their perfect moments either. End quote. Closing thoughts. By compiling this short list of nine, I'm not suggesting that these are the only keys to creating a healthy relationship. I'm simply shedding light on some common relationship habits that can make all the difference in the end. Again, healthy couples do not happen by chance. They are created through conscious and consistent effort. And the best part is, a happier, healthier relationship can start with just one partner. You. If you are committed to having the best partnership possible, choose just one or two of the habits from this list and implement them today. Set a great example and see how it affects your relationship over the next several days. You just listened to part two of the post titled, Nine Things All Healthy Couples Do, by Angel Chernoff of markandangel.com. Girl, real talk. This whole, it's a new year, time to reinvent myself trash is not the vibe for 2024. You can find someone who loves you for you, as you are. You don't need to read a stack of self-help books, only eat sad salads, or like start meditating at 5 a.m. to be ready for dating. So yeah, my advice is to download Bumble and find someone who embraces you the way you are right now. Let me know how it goes. Now, there's a lot of talk about New Year's resolutions right now, and most of them revolve around either a healthier lifestyle or freeing up some time for ourselves. Why not both? Get started on your resolutions with Factor, so you're ready for the new year. Factor's ready-to-eat meal delivery takes the stress out of meal planning and sets you up for success in the new year. Skip the grocery stores, prep work, and cooking fatigue. Instead, get chef-crafted, dietitian approved meals delivered right to your door. With over 35 meals to choose from per week, including options like keto, calorie smart, vegan and veggie, and more, plus over 55 weekly add-ons, you'll have a ton of nutritious and flavorful options to kickstart your resolutions. And what I really like is that when things get hectic, Factor is flexible. Change your order up every week with plans from 4 to 18 meals per week, or pause or reschedule your deliveries anytime. So head to factormeals.com slash optimal50, that's optimal50, and use code optimal50 to get 50% off. That's code optimal50 at factormeals.com slash optimal50 to get 50% off. And there you have it, a great finish by Angel, to no one's surprise. So point five, they don't let outsiders call the shots in their relationship. I think that this one is particularly essential for a healthy relationship or a healthy partnership. It underscores the importance of couples making decisions based on their mutual desires rather than external pressures or societal norms. And I'm sure we're all familiar with how much we can let the perspectives of others intrude on our decision making, be it consciously or subconsciously. But this approach is beneficial as it fosters unity and understanding between partners, which strengthens their bond against those external influences. So, in essence, by keeping control of their relationship choices, Couples can ensure that their journey together reflects their shared values and desires. And this not only strengthens their connection, but it also enhances their overall happiness and fulfillment, making their partnership more robust, I guess, and satisfying. I would say it's also great for building trust as well. You know, we constantly show our partners that we trust them enough to make decisions alongside them and only them. That instills a strong sense of partnership and accountability. And couples that remain more responsible for their own choices, those are couples that can really grow together. But with that, we have reached the end for today, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in, not just to this episode, but also yesterday's part one. I hope this article has gotten you thinking about how to strengthen your bond with your partner. I know it has for me. So have a great rest of your day and be sure to tune in again tomorrow for more ORD. That's where your optimal life awaits.